It's a beautiful day in Montreal today, so I figured for today's video, I would make it outside in Parc La Fontaine. And as the title suggests, today I want to share a bit about our upcoming trip to Southeast Asia. We've been planning this with Noemi for the last couple of years, honestly, in terms of it being an idea, not in the actual sense of planning the trip out, because one of the main tenets of this trip is that it's going to be very unplanned, at least as much as feasibly possible. So in today's video, I want to share a bit about the story behind the trip, um, tell you a bit about what we have planned so far and what I hope to do on this channel to be able to share a bit about the adventures we'll be on, the stories we'll have the chance to tell, and the memories we're going to be creating. So, it all started back when I traveled for six months to India. This was in 2017, 2018. Uh, I did a, my first long trip and it was incredible. Um, ever since I've wanted to do another one and after returning to that trip, I met my partner Noemi. So, we've been having this shared goal of doing a long trip but then, well, as everyone knows, COVID happened and we kind of had to put it on the ice, not knowing necessarily when it would happen until around like 2022, when COVID was starting to calm down, we figured, okay, we could bring this back to life and make this a reality. So we decided in 2022 that 2024 would be the kickoff date. And about a few months ago, we finally bought our plane ticket. So we're officially leaving October 30th, 2024 with a one-way plane ticket to Hanoi in Vietnam. So that's going to be our starting point, working our way then down south for about a month, um, crossing through Cambodia, then doing a month in Thailand, followed by which we'll be going to Malaysia and Singapore, then Indonesia, and then the, the idea is to fly down to New Zealand, uh, then go back up into China, and then maybe Japan if the budget permits, and on time we're still okay. So that's the rough outline of what we have planned. Um, at first we wanted to start in Thailand, in Bangkok, as that's where a lot of backpackers begin their, their travels through Southeast Asia. But because we want to do as much the South pointing up the north as much as the south, uh, we weren't sure the itinerary. So because of uh, Vietnam's geography, we figured it's much easier to start up north, work our way down south, cross through Cambodia, and then into Bangkok, Thailand. Um, and once we're there, we'd be already traveling for about six weeks, probably meet a bunch of people and have a better idea of where we want to go in the, the planning throughout Thailand and the next steps. So it's really just a rough outline uh, to be able to figure out uh, well, what we can do in six months, what our visas will permit. In general, for me, it's about four weeks per country. As a Canadian citizen, and Noemi being French, she has a bit longer generally. I think it's six weeks in Vietnam that she can do, but we'll go based on the Canadian restrictions since that's smaller. And uh, yeah, it's going to be super cool. We're trying to do it on a budget. Um, so far, what we have in mind and what we've saved for is 25000 each, so a total budget of $50,000 for this six months. Now, one of the key considerations is if we manage to rent out our condo in Montreal, because by renting it out, at least we don't have any costs running while we're here. Um, if that does not happen, we might have to readjust the, the time we have in our total budget, just simply because uh, well, we're going to be needing some money to, to allocate to our home expenses while we're away, which hopefully won't be the case. So other than that, um, right now we're just figuring out all the gear we want to bring. We want to be extremely minimalistic. We're just bringing one large carry-on backpack, around 40 liters, and one day bag with us. Um, I'm considering doing a video just on like what we're packing because I've done in the past and really uh, as minimalistic as possible. And that's why we chose certain dates in Southeast Asia. It's going to be 
a nice warm month so we won't have to pack too much cold weather gear, uh, which obviously helps in keeping the pack light. Um, but now for the next like five months, it's just figuring out uh, our visa, uh, visas, uh, also our vaccines. So next month, we're probably going to go to a uh, uh, tourist medical office. That's not the right word. A travel, cl travel clinic is the correct word uh, to be able to see which um, vaccines we might need. Uh, then it's obviously medical insurance. Um, but then after that, it's just, I guess, hopping on the plane and, and going. So there's not that much more that needs to be done before the trip. Once again, since we're not planning that much, all we booked is the plane tickets and uh, the first three nights in Hanoi just to have some sort of home base once we get there and uh, also for immigration to give them an address of where we're landing. But then after that, it's uh, Carte Blanche where we're going to be able to, to roam around freely and uh, yeah, see where, see where Vietnam and this whole trip takes us. So that's it, pretty excited. I hope to make some videos um, while we're there as well. So the, the building up to it, but also while we're there, um, a bit of a different type of video on my channel. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that's going to be a pretty cool content. I think it should be. So if you're interested, follow along. And uh, if you've ever been, let me know in the comments of any recommendations or must-see, must-do things in uh, any of the countries we'll be visiting. So once again, just general Southeast Asia area. And voila, I'll uh, see you again soon. Have a good one, cheers.